are Michelle welcome back to my channel no I'm not cleaning today as you can see I look like Cleo who set it off I am getting ready to give you another crochet video a little different today though I'm not going to be showing you the process the whole way through I'm gonna be showing you the hair that I chose this time um, my braid pattern and then um, the end result and what I think of that hair so I've used Kima braid before braid hair um, but I hadn't used this brand, not brand, but this style. I've used Kima before, but not this texture. So I'm going to try the Ocean Wave today. I hope you guys can see that. So I'm always mixing number two and a four on my hair. The natural color is Sandy Brown. Um, I did a couple braids, um, maybe 10 braids to the back, and it's probably like eight total in the bag. My hair is still growing out as you know so I put a couple rubber bands the back at the end and kind of connected them all the way through. I don't know if you can see that. So I'm going to get started with this process you guys. If you want to see what it looks like, like I said it's my first time using the Ocean Wave so I hope it goes well. Okay so I've got a lot of the back done. I don't know if y'all can see that. Um, I like the texture of this hair as far as putting it in. I'm not sure how I like it at the end, but I like that it's not so silky um, that you have to possibly tie a knot or anything like that. So I like that um, it's kind of a kinky um, or yakky kind of like texture. All right, I am back. Um, I wouldn't even say halfway, but I've got this side done. And I will say I really, really like, I don't know if you guys can see, texture of this hair um it's really natural like and i don't know i just really like it so i don't have my tripod with me but otherwise i will stand you guys up but i'm really liking it so i've combed it to get some of the loose hair out and i will say that it does keep the curl pattern just like the loose wave so i'm really liking it so far um i will show y'all once i get a little bit further along I'm really ready to be done. I don't know if you guys have done crochets. If you have, it is a lengthy process and I was trying to see if I could do this within four hours. Um, it's been, I started like almost two o'clock. It's 4.35 right now. So, like I said, it's a little bit easier process because I can, um, not. I don't have to necessarily tie um, at the end with more silky um, textures. You have to kind of tie um, at the root so that it will stay but I hadn't really had to do that so that has helped me to move along um, so right now like I said just want to check in I am digging this hair so we'll see once I'm further along and then of course how it all turns out at the end
I'm getting ready to open my second pack of number two. And I remember that I didn't show y'all what it looks like when it's all together. And this is what it looks like. It's 20 inches. And what I usually do is cut it in half because just think about it. I don't want, I don't need air that long. So if I can at least put it in and it's, you know, this is how it's hitting with cutting it. Um, and I don't know if y'all can see the blend of both colors, the number two and the number four. So I've just been placing the number four in in different areas. Um, so I'm gonna get ready and cut this pack open, hoping it will be enough. Um, I'll say it may be enough because one pack of the original, because one pack of the other number two that I opened, the first number two I opened and half of the number four took me this far. So I'm hoping that, um, you know, the rest of, well, the second pack of the number two and the rest of the number four will finish the rest of my head. So we'll see. But um, the number two and the number four that I used, um, the half of the number four and the number two that I used did the whole back. So we did all of this back here as well as this side so I think I should have enough so doing it I'm trying to figure out if I want to cut it um because I kind of like the way that it's actually coming out on its own you know just a little bit um past my shoulder and then this is the length for the back so I'm just trying to figure out if I want to um cut it if I want to at all so
this is the final result um the hair ended up being a lot longer than i wanted it to be um i just i wasn't feeling the long hair so i thought that i could cut it into a bob it came out really good i may still do some cutting um you know while i wear it and then of course it'll fall so um this is the kind of you know look that i'm going for i'll turn around so you guys can see the back So I'm really liking the bob. Um, I think that it complements my face well. It's not too long, not too short. Um, the hair, um, I will say when you get this hair, if you choose to crochet with this hair, this hair is thick. Like it is really thick to the point where I had to thin it out. And basically if you don't have, um, which I didn't have hair thinners, um, so I just basically took the scissors at an angle and just basically went through everything. So depending on how it holds up with the weather and all of that, I may have to go back and do that again, or I may have to cut some more of it. But overall, I think I like it. Tell me what y'all think. Leave it in the comment section. If y'all think this was a good um, crochet with me. Um, this one is different. I don't think I've ever done a bob before. So anyway, so thank you guys for watching this crochet with me, you guys. Thank you for coming back for another one. Um, if you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Also hit that subscribe button. If you have not subscribed, I would really appreciate it. Don't forget to leave me a comment or just to say hello. You enjoyed the video and I'll see y'all in the next one. Bye.